Hello again, YouTube. This is the final fix. This capacitor, these traces right here, this one and this one. I mean, these uh, these solder points here. This is capacitor C2, it runs horizontal here. And then below capacitor C2 on the other side of the board, there's a trace. There's This is sort of like a collared hole. And on the other side of this collar, on the other side of the board, and I'll try to show you that in a second, there's a trace that goes from here to here, like sort of like, the, I guess, the ground. And apparently that trace or collar had a bad connection. So although I replaced the capacitor C2 and it seemed to work fine, it apparently was um, not okay because I saw diminished sensitivity over the course of about a day or so while I was listening to this. I think re-soldering in the new cap temporarily sort of mitigated the bad connection, but it gradually started to fail again. So I just simply ran the lead, instead of snipping the lead off, I ran it over to that ground connection and uh, it seems to have improved it. I'm get, now getting even better sensitivity than it was after I first fixed it. So if anybody has weak sensitivity on DX160s, this board, you know, and you've done the other stuff like replace caps and so forth. As, I've, as you can see, I've done here, the black capacitors have all been replaced. Um, and after, of course, you've, you've looked over the board to see, you know, people suggest you should look over the, the board to see if you can find any cold solder joints. That's pretty difficult. You know, I did look over the board. It's probably worth doing, but it's really difficult to see a cold solder joint from what I've discovered. If anybody disagrees, I don't have that much experience, so I could be wrong. Um, but really, this coil pack board, it's called in the service manual. As you can see, I'm going to give you a better overview of it. It's probably your culprit. Something in here. I've replaced two germanium capacitors, a resistor, and now finally this C2 capacitor here. And now it seems to be working well. Let me turn the radio over. I see there's a little glare, but you can see that the collared lead point there on the right. And as you can see, that goes to what's essentially ground. Those two grounding, those two plates there. So apparently this connection is weak or intermittent, who knows, maybe just age and disintegration of the trace or whatever. So basically, as you can see on that, on the 47 picofarad resistor right in the center there, on the right of it, its lead jumps to there. So that's what I'm, what I'm, what I'm jumping across on the other side of the board. Um, these are the diodes that I replaced. These are germanium matched pair RF switching diodes. One of them was was shorted. It definitely would cause weak signal because it'd be shorting the antenna lead to ground practically. That wasn't the main problem. I uh, replaced R2 with a 5k ohm resistor, replaced the 220 ohm resistor. Um, that was supposed to increase sensitivity substantially according to, to forum posts I've read, so I've done that. Again, if you're having sensitivity problems with your DX160, I would target this board after you've looked over through everything else over, overall. This is probably your problem. This is what I want to see. I'm in the band E. About 14.3 or so, give or take, on the dial. Between 5 and 6 on the S meter is definitely ideal. I usually get a solid S5 in my car, and uh, although it's at, right after the initial fix, I was seeing a good S5 or just slightly under. Uh, very shortly and gradually, it started to diminish. Uh, this I did the fix a couple hours ago, and. Uh, still holding strong so means I should have good sensitivity here let's go ahead and try to try to move down the band I think I'll just use the band spreader I still need to do an alignment but uh, I think I'm gonna give it a rest for a little bit before I get back into it Kilo zero uniform I think I got a 
It's real important to uh, watch the entire trim because it has a significant effect, as you can see. Let's peek it there. There's a strong WWV. At the film, 16 hours, 59 minutes, coordinated universal time. Okay, I'll say 7-3.